Gary, 7-3, 10-6, the headlines are all being written, and all of a sudden Steve starts coming back. You, What's going through your mind when we get to, let's say, 12 all? What would go through your mind? <laughs> exactly. Well, you tell me. Exactly. Can't see it on camera. You know, I mean, nah, listen, I mean, I got to a good lead. Steve started coming back, and I started missing a few, and then he, he pegged him out, you know. And towards the end, he missed a few, which actually gave me a, gave me a chance to win the game. So, uh, no, nah, I mean, Steve's old school, you know. Great guy, brilliant bloke, likes a good laugh, but still a cracking that player. The story of the match seemed to be break of throws. You'd break him, or, or he'd break you, and then you'd immediately break back, or the other way around. What was the problem with sort of holding your own throws in that? Was it nerves or, or something else? Absolutely sweating up there. Absolutely dripping. It really is hot. I mean, I came off there. I'm, I'm absolutely soaked. Steve didn't look like he dropped a bead. You know, there's not a bit of sweat on his forehead. I went, how did he do it? You know, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. I think when you're under pressure, it puts a wee bit more heat on you. But, uh, no, nah, I mean, Steve, he done great. And I was very fortunate to win. I said Mr Phil Taylor up next. This may seem like a bit of a strange question, but do you think you'll be able to relax a bit more playing against someone like Phil? You've been playing a lot recently and been spending a lot of time with recently on the World Series. Yeah, I'm just going to go up to play darts. I mean, probably Phil will probably be favourite to beat me, you know, but I uh, learned a lot tonight. I'm going to come about 22 dart shots and big bag ice. Confident? I'll give it a go, yeah.